Hello and welcome to the second Inventory Pro tutorial. So assuming you followed the first tutorial, we, uh, we can get started. So in this tutorial we're going to look into creating items using the item editor, uh, as well as uh, setting up looting so we can loot the items we've created. So first let's start by creating an item. So we go to Tools, Inventory System, Main Editor, and you'll be presented with, um, with the database picker. And then you have to choose the database which you like to edit. So in a previous tutorial we set on our manager the item database which is the one that's called green here so the green one is the one in your current scene it's likely the one you want to edit so we click that and first we get the item editor and here we can create the actual items we've got the category editor where we can create categories for our items properties which allows us to add custom properties so we don't have to dive into code and we can just use the editor and rarities uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a bit so first let's start by creating an item, so click create item and we'll be presented with the type picker and we can just use our keyboard, the up and down arrow keys and let's choose consumable, just hit return and I'll create the item okay so let's give it a name, let's make an apple and we can give it a description and as you know we can actually add rich text so we can say uh, that and it'll create an italic text um, the icon, which is the icon that will be shown inside of the inventory, so let's just grab an apple icon. The icon when used, we actually got a um, let's see, nom nom sound. Uh, properties, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, category, we don't have one yet, so we'll leave that blank. Um, the buy and selling price, so let's go with, I don't know, something. Um, is it droppable, sellable, storable, and we also have the stack size, so if we set 64, we can place 64 items in a single stack. Uh, the weight of a single item, so it's something low, and the required level, let's just leave that as it is for now. So let's create a category. So if we go to the credit category editor, we can create a new one, just click it, and we can give it a name such as consumables. And as you can see down here, we can actually create a cooldown. So if I set this to 20, all items that share this category will have a 20 second cooldown. So if I go here, and choose the category that I just created, consumable. You can see here that it now has a 20 second cooldown. I can manually overwrite this per item if I like, but by default, you'll just grab the category cooldown. So assume you have uh, apples, pears, and bananas, whatever. When you use one of them, all of them will go into cooldown. So we'll see that in a bit if I create another item. Uh, we've got the property editor and we can create our own custom properties so we have to give a key which is basically the name of the property um, for example restore health and we can give it a specific color we'll just leave it white for now and show inside of the UI which will be inside of the tooltip so if we go to here we can now add a property and as you'll see the restore health we can just add something like 20 Obviously this does not directly restore the health, we'll need to write a bit of custom code, but we'll do that in one of the following tutorials. Um, we also have the Rarity Editor, and inside the Rarity Editor we can define the rarity of items, and we can also associate a drop object with it. So let's just uh, make one for junk. Make sure you set the alpha to uh, 255, otherwise it won't be visible inside of the UI. Okay. And a drop object is actually um, the object that will be shown when it's in the world. And this can be useful for uh, various games where you actually drop a pouch or a bag or a treasure chest or something instead of the actual object. So let's create a few more. Let's call this uh, normal. And. something like that and we can do as many as you like so it doesn't really matter and there we go so we set those up and now if we go back to our item editor you'll see that we now have a rarity picker so we can choose here we can choose legendary and it'll immediately show in the same color so you can give each of them their own rarity and these will also show up in the UI so that's for the item editor now let's set up looting so, 
And to loot items, we have to add a trigger handler, and this actually takes care of the uh, picking up of items as well as um, uh, triggering things like a bank and such. So we can do that by creating a new item first. Actually, let's just add it to the manager. So we can do to manager, and we'll search for show object trigger. Yeah, attach that here. Um, the UI element can actually be used to show the triggering process, so when something can be triggered, but it's mainly useful for first-person games, things like UFPS. Um, the pickup sprite, which actually handles the um, the first-person part, so we can ignore that for now. Um, item trigger mouse click, so when we click an item, do we want to pick it up? Well, in this case we do. The hover key, which is when you're in first-person and um, tap the key, the item will be picked up, um, but we don't want to use that for now. And on trigger, so if we walk against it or collide with the object, if we want to pick it up. So we've added the object trigger, and that's about it. Now let's grab our item, drag it into the world. There we go. And uh, try it out. So we can now click the object. It'll be stored inside of our inventory, which we can open with I. As you can see, we've got the object here, which we can drag around. And if I right click it, Nom, 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 nom. It'll use the object. So that's about it for um, this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at uh, equipping items for the character. And uh, see you next time.